Hello friends and potential friends. Well, I'm in the studio today because quite frankly it's just too hot to be outside. It's even too hot out in the lab with the AC running. So I'm hiding out in here, but that's okay because I've been looking forward to making this video for the last couple of days since I received a package from a friend of mine and it's been weighing on my mind that I want to give these things a try. The other day I received a package from my friend Peanut over at Peanuts Peppers. If you saw any of my recent videos you may have noticed that he and I had a little bit of fun after I made that uh, pepper eating spoof video and then he went out and ate one of his ghost peppers which actually I think he decided it was actually a habanero not a ghost but it was still hot enough and he paid for that one and he was threatening to send me a gift and he did. What you see here is uh, a good sampling of Peanuts Wares. He sent me a jar of 1x pineapple jelly. Let me get that. 1x pineapple. He also sent me a 2x pineapple. That's some pretty jelly too. And he sent me a 1x of his watermelon. And he sent me a little sampler. It says 1x. He put the label over top of the lid, so I can't see what he wrote on the lid, but it looks to me like that is his famous uh, grape jelly. So I want to do a little bit of a sampling and a tape taste test or two or maybe three actually I think I'm going to start off in honor of peanuts I'm gonna sample his 2x pineapple that'll be my first start so let me get this opened up I've got all my implements of destruction here oh that's some nice looking jelly see now that's the way jelly's supposed to act And I'm going to sample just a little bit of it to start with. Oh, that's good. There is a little bit of heat to it. So I think I was right that the pineapple jelly I made, he would probably label that as 1X. But that's some good jelly. And... To give it a real good sampling, I'm going to put a little bit of it on some bread. I made a slice of toast just for this occasion because I found with mine that when you put it on toast, it tends to kind of even out the heat a little bit. Oh yeah, I can eat that. That's good. It still has the heat there, but you get a, quite a bit of the flavor, too. Mmm. Yeah, that is definitely a winner. Now, the other one that I am anxious to try out is the grape. So let's get that one opened up. See if I'm right that this is the grape. Pretty sure it is because it does not look like the others. And I know grape was one of the other flavors that he made recently. Wish I could get the light to shine through that a little better. But let's see what we have here. Yep, that's the grape. Ooh, I see why it's his favorite, too. Now, that's only a 1x. Probably about the level that I would normally eat my jelly. But I'm going to put some of that on this toast, too. Because the 2x pineapple was not that bad. Let's see. Mm. 
Yep, that one isn't going to last very long. Peanut's going to have to get cooking again. I know Elizabeth's talking about putting in another order here pretty quick, too. But I do see why he likes the grape. That tastes good. And now, just because I threatened to do it, that's my, has to be called 1X pineapple gel, pineapple habanero, I called it. As you can see, it did not gel hardly at all. But you have to use a spoon to get it on the bread. It's got good flavor. Looks pretty, but it did not set up at all. And I'm sure that was my fault, though I haven't figured out what I did wrong. More than likely, I just didn't get it hot enough when I was cooking it. And I've ordered a thermometer for the kitchen, so if I do make another batch, which after tasting that from peanuts, I don't think I'm going to waste my time making fruit jellies. I know a place I can get them. I do like the flavor of mine almost as good as that the peanut made. Not quite. He knows what he's doing. I don't. And that's pretty obvious. And now I've got his phone number, so I can call him up and get some when I need it. The other two, the watermelon and the one X pineapple, I'm going to leave those sealed simply because I don't want everything getting hot in my refrigerator when I'm standing there in the morning trying to decide which flavor of jelly I want to have for breakfast. And I've got two of these open and I've got at least two jars of my own jellies from previous experiments that are open. So I'm going to hang on to those other two. The watermelon, I really want to taste that. Elizabeth said that one was good too. But anyway, I am going to go fry up some bacon and eggs and make this into a proper meal. So if you need some good jellies, and check out Peanuts Peppers. He's got his YouTube channel. I'm kind of bugging him to get a website put up. Hopefully he'll get that done pretty soon. And then he can start shipping this stuff out. He probably better get busy growing more peppers too because I got a feeling he's going to have a lot of customers coming to him. The word's getting out. Oh, and uh, I didn't get a sample of that, but he also makes some, what I've heard is some dynamite pepper seasoning. I look forward to getting some of that from him at some point, trying that out. But anyway, check out Peanuts Peppers. I'll leave a link below to his YouTube channel. And he's got the, his contact information on there. And hit him up. This stuff is good. He knows what he's doing. And I'm going to go get cooking. And I'll see you on the next one.